Okay, so today we have Crystal Castles, Not in Love, featuring Robert Smith of The Cure. Uh, so I've had a lot of requests for uh, just Robert Smith. Apparently he's done other things uh, from The Cure, uh, apart from The Cure. And uh, yeah, and it's just, I don't know, this came out in, uh, I think, 2010 it said, uh, or 11. Uh, anyway, it was very recent. And uh, yeah, I'm just, when it comes to The Cure, and I guess Robert Smith, uh, it seems like uh, his fans are very vocal, and uh, especially in the comments, like, I don't think there's any other like band that uh, that comes to mind where uh, yeah people just really want me to listen to like uh, the vocalist or the band. Uh, so that's uh, yeah that's something I've learned. Anyway, we're gonna get into this uh, <laughs> and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's different. I I don't think I've listened to much you know anything recent from Robert Smith. So let's just see. Hanging on the back of my door Won't give you my heart No one lives there anymore And we were lovers Now we can't be friends Fascination ends Here we go again Oh, 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 cause it's cold outside Jeez, man. Um, Crystal Castles, not in love, featuring Robert Smith, like I said. Um, so yeah, I have to say at the top, this was a cover. Uh, it was originally by Platinum Blonde uh, from 1983. 
uh, which yeah, even uh, I haven't heard uh, their version, uh, their original version, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, it was basically just Robert Smith throughout this whole song. You know, uh, when I got a request and then I got a, actually a DM on Instagram, uh, a person said that uh, it's basically just Robert Smith through, through the whole song. So um, yeah, it was just I, I wanted to see what was going on here. And uh, yeah, like I said, this came out in 2010. And uh, so Robert Smith, he would have been like, I guess, 10, uh, he's 62 now, so he's er still early 50s, like 51, 52, and, uh, I mean, if you listen to his voice, it's like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I was thinking, like, how old does he sound? He sounds like 25 or something, it's just, I can't ever get over how his, vo his voice, it just always sounds, uh, never really changes, it, uh, I don't know, even when he, if he makes it, I guess, to like 80 or 90 or whatever, I want to hear him sing, I want to hear if his voice has gone or not by then, my goodness, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, and, uh, anyway, uh, Crystal Castles is a Canadian electronic duo, which is kind of cool, uh, since I'm also Canadian, um, uh, so it says, a single remix, um, which features Robert Smith of The Cure on lead vocals, was released uh, da, 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 from their YouTube channel. Uh, it was also it was featured in the season finale of the eleventh season of Degrassi. Well, isn't that nice? I think I don't know if that's a show in the states or not, but I know it is uh, pretty popular in Canada. Yeah, Canadian teen drama. So obviously. Either way, I do see that this song has a lot of uh, views on YouTube. Uh, I think the video has about 28 million. So, I mean, obviously, uh, a lot of people listen to it. And uh, obviously, with Robert Smith, uh, I, it's just it, like right off the bat when I said it's just, you know, right off the bat, it sounds like the 80s. Uh, the synthesizers. Um, and then, you, but also, you had, uh, I guess, the beat in there. There were some fresh beats in there. Uh, it was just modernized. I want to say it's like almost modernized cure. But uh, it's not the cure here. Uh, it's just Robert Smith. So I feel like that would be mean to say or something. But um, yeah, so I just, yeah, it just sounded like how I would think a Robert Smith song sounds like in 2010, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, there is an about here on uh, Genius.com. Uh, so it says, Not in Love is a cover of Toronto Platinum, uh, Platinum Blonde's song of the same name with slight alterations to the lyrics. So also, I guess Platinum Blonde is from the Toronto area as well. So obviously, uh, yeah, some Torontonians going on here. The original album version featured uh, pitch-shifted vocals by Ethan Kath, but they were replaced on later versions of the album with vocals by Robert Smith. So, I mean, you get Robert Smith on a song. I mean, I mean, he's going to take your vocals, I guess. And uh, at the time of the recording, Crystal Castles were friends with Mark Holmes, lead singer and bassist of the Platinum Blonde. So obviously, okay, uh, that's good to know that they're friends and that, you know, this is all, you know, they asked, they probably asked, can we do your song? And uh, he said, sure. Uh, the song describes the evolution of an on and off again relationship. I mean, the whole not in love part. I mean, yeah, you would think that there's something going on here with a relationship or something. Uh, and the occasional hopes of the narrator that their partner may change their mind and come back to them while claiming at the same time that they are not in love contradicting themselves in a way uh and this reminds me of many uh cure songs you know the whole you know even with just the title not in love i think of you know friday i'm in love uh which is a big song that comes to mind and uh i mean yeah this is just right up robert smith's alley here uh with the song and i can see why they you know did a cover here anyway um, going on, so that basically, yeah, just is written by, uh, Sergio Galli and, uh, Mark Holmes of Platinum Blonde and so on and so forth here. Uh, and then we go on, I want to see some of the lyricism though. Uh, some of the lyrics, I guess I should say. So yeah, I saw your picture hanging on the back door. Uh, I won't give you my heart. No one lives there anymore. And we were lovers. Now we can't be friends. Fascinating, fascination ends here we go again, and then he has the OOOs. Uh, so there are some annotations here. Uh, let's just read a little bit. So it says, usually people don't look uh, at the back of their doors, under their beds, and so on. Well, there's the back of my door. Anyway, I looked at it. Uh, anyway, so they put the things they hate there. <laughs> this quote, it seems the narrator remembered their lover as they closed the door. They realized they have still not gotten over that person. Uh, and I mean... Yeah, still, I mean, love being a big theme here, um, and it can be relatable to many people, which is probably probably why uh, somebody wanted to cover it and why the video has so many millions of views. Uh, anyway, uh, he won't give a, you his heart uh, because he has no heart to give anymore since he has uh, had it broken so many times before in the past. 
that's pretty sad. Uh, and then we go on and we were lovers, now we can't be friends. Even though they said they'd be friends, it's kind of a sticky situation. And being around each other brings up uh, some bad memories. And also, you know, when you're thinking, you know, uh, we were lovers, now we can't be friends. It's like, for some people, it's like, uh, I mean, you, that you're in a relationship when, with, it kind of has to end. Um, it's like hard to be friends, uh, um, you know, uh, it's just with some people, I guess. Uh, and it's just like, you kind of just have to move on from them. And, uh, I mean, you don't hate them maybe, but, uh, yeah, it's just like, we can't really be friends. I don't know. I, I, I could just imagine that and, uh, what some people, uh, you know, go through with that whole thing. Anyway, it says with well, the whole fascination ends, uh, could be referring to the end of the honeymoon stage where every long-term term relationship loses the excitement and rush uh and again just that whole thing where it's just like you might not even have excitement or a rush just to be friends with them it's just like eh, i just don't really want to see you anymore so bye anyway pre-chorus robert smith because it's cold outside when you when you coming home uh because it's hot out inside isn't that enough uh so it says first off this could be interpreted uh through the likeness of loneliness, uh, uh, the harsh cold weather, and the more comforting warmth of a familiar place. Uh, however, another very similar concept can be seen as a reference on uh, the song Baby It's Cold Outside, uh, which is quite the, uh, if you actually uh, read the lyrics of Baby It's Cold Outside, it's kind of, you kind of get a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a sticky situation in that song as well, a little bit of a Kind of a vibe there. Anyway, a rapey vibe or something, uh, which draws on similar themes. Uh, in the old song, the male lead is trying to persuade the girl from leaving the comfort and warmth of his home instead of going out into the harsh, cold outside world. Uh, and the original Plot and Blonde song, the lyrics are, because it's hot inside, are you coming home? Because uh, it's hot inside, is that enough? Uh, but Crystal Castles, however, changes changed the two words from hot inside to hot, cold outside and are able to make the whole feel of the song much sadder and bleaker. And uh, I like what they did there. That's a very uh, good change. And uh, yeah, because I mean, it's cold outside, it's hot in here. Isn't that enough for you to, you know, come back or whatever? And, uh, and then we just have it out with uh, the outro uh, with <laughs> Robert Smith, We Are Not In Love. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just Robert Smith. What can you say about his vocals that I haven't said already? Um, just, he can have that passionate voice, uh, especially when it comes to love songs. And, uh, you know, I can imagine, you know, somebody going through, like, a breakup or, or whatever, a divorce even, whatever it is, and uh, just a rough time. And then you listen to The Cure, or you listen to a song like this, uh, Crystal Castle's thing here. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, his voice just really suits these kind of sounds, these kind of songs. And, uh, yeah, I just really like how it was kind of modernized. It was, you know, still kind of sounded like 80s. But uh, you could kind of tell with how, I guess, the, you know, the beats were in there and stuff like that. And then, uh, like I said, when uh, everything come together, everything kind of came together. And uh, Robert Smith was singing, I think it was the chorus, when he was just saying, I'm not in love. Uh, and I said, it kind of sound, sounded like I was in a storm or something with the headphones on. And, uh, yeah, it's just that whole kind of sense there just sounds like, uh, I like how they kind of modernized the sound. It doesn't sound like, you know, somebody trying to relive the 80s or something. It's just because at some point it's like, eh, this is good or maybe it's not good, but it's just like it, it it doesn't work in 2020 or 2010, I guess here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this really worked. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say anyway. Yeah. This song worked and, uh, I liked it quite a bit and, uh, it was nice to see and hear Robert Smith in his fifties and, uh, him not in the cure. And, uh, yeah, actually I wanted to look up here, uh, cause I didn't know if Robert Smith had solo stuff, but uh, apparently he does not. But apparently he's uh, set uh, to release a solo album of some sort uh, soon, I guess. That's what I read on uh, uh, some sites here. But uh, anyway, yeah, so that, that would be pretty cool to hear as well. Anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. Really appreciate all the support. And I will talk to you guys again soon.